What's up, SBM gang? Today I am back with another YouTube collab. I'm using RV Hair Collection today. They sent me over this bomb 30 inch 613 wig and I dyed it red. I used five bottles of the Adore Intense Red. So I'll leave that in the description box for whoever wants to know what bottles I used because this was a 613 wig when it came to me. And you guys already know I'm only using my Boho products. This is the Boho Liquid Gold in the applicator. So I'm just gliding it on. A lot of people, when I'm on live, they think I'm using lip gloss. No, I'm using my Boho Liquid Gold to do her new cap. That's the only thing I use for new caps because less is more. And got to be spray is just not giving. So this is the part a lot of you girls like to skip over when y'all brush in or just trying to get it done. Y'all have to clean the skin before you apply glue or your lace will not last long. You have to clean. I like to use witch hazel because I just feel like alcohol is just too harsh. And then after I use my witch hazel, I go in with my skin protectant, period. And that's just the formula that I like to use. Now this is something new on my channel. I don't think I've done this step before for you guys, but I've been using it lately. I love the bolt hole lace tape. Like the actual tape, that just, I feel like it personally is an extra barrier that helps your wig not slide back. So like these days, I don't even play about my tape. Like I have to put tape on that new cap base so that I don't have to put so much white glue on the new cap. You know, just to get that extra stick, I can just do my max on the skin my tape on the cap and then go in with a little bit of active on top of the tape just just so i can get that extra secure hold because y'all know we be dancing and shit Now the reason you see me hot coming before I lay the wig is because it's hard to get the areas by the ear once it's already laid because you know the clients be flinching and shit so I was like let me just lay the sides down before I even wipe this wig on because I don't have time for her to be like oh you burnt me oh you burnt me because she act like she be scared of the hot comb so I was like let me pre hot comb it before I even lay it so that way once it's down I don't even have to worry about the sides. So, for cutting the lace, I do recommend using the eyebrow razor, but you have to be careful because if you're using a sharp eyebrow razor, like a brand new one, it can cut the lace too far back. Now you got it behind the glue. You want your lace to be over the glue. I'd rather cut and it be too much lace and I have to go back with my scissors than me cutting with that eyebrow razor thinking I know what I'm doing and then it's glue everywhere so you have to be sure that you don't cut too far back with the eyebrow razor
So now I'm just going back in those areas that I missed and I'm adding blue. And shout out to RV Hair Collection because this wig was a perfect fit. It wasn't too small on the sides. I, I didn't have to do any major tugging or cutting the size of the wig to get it to fit. So shout out to RV Hair Collection for having wigs that fit bigger heads. This step is not optional. The key to a slayed install is one, your plucking, two, how you apply your glue, and three, how flat your top is. You cannot have a humpy top. You gotta pluck that wig and you gotta hot comb that wig. If you want the scalp effect, you have to not be scared to get the humpiness out. So I like to use mousse, I like to use wax stick, I like to use hairspray. I do whatever I gotta do to get my top flat and that's just period. And I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna plug. I'm not scared to plug because I don't want it to look wiggy and I don't want that that blunt line that be in the middle of y'all frontal. So yeah, that's what that is. So now what you see me doing is I'm defining my part. I'm pulling out little hairs that don't need to be there. If you're a beginner, I guess use tweezers, but sometimes when you use the tweezers, y'all get too happy with it and then your part is so big. Me, I've been doing parts since 2018, so I know how to eyeball it and just rip out what don't need to be where it needs to be. So that's why you see me just pulling the hairs out and then the part it just gives like you know like it's not too thin it's not too thin and as you can see i'm not even going by this ear because i already hot combed that before i laid the wig down can't really tell because my hand is in the way but I'm plucking forward so I'm not plucking backwards that's gonna pull her lace up I'm plucking towards her face or should I say downward yeah but yeah I'm plucking with the pointy side and I'm creating lines within that middle I don't want it to look too thick or too heavy so you have to go in and create your lines and create that realistic you know vibe y'all be scared to plug i'm not scary at all i will go in and i will pluck the wig because i know she likes that real pluck look she doesn't like thick hair knives so yeah i was just going in Y'all, Gabby is the one who actually made me start curling my edges before I do them because she kept saying, oh, I want fluffy edges. I want them curly edges. So I just finally decided to do it. And once I did it, I loved them. So now I do them on all my clients. Like, if I don't flat iron your edges before, it's probably because you asked me not to. Like, you don't want that look. You want like that. But even then, I would still curl them because it just helps lay the baby heads. I don't know why, but curling your edges before you lay them it just does wonders and yes i know that's not boho lace jelly on my hand that's gorilla snot but that's only because i wanted her baby hairs to not mess up i knew that i wasn't going to be able to touch this hair up or fix it so i said well she's going to get these hard baby hairs and call it a day And after all that, I'm still hot combing. Because, you know, you just, you cannot play with that flat top. Like, 
you just cannot play with that top like it doesn't matter i think i go over it at least 100 times with the hot comb before i leave it alone Now I'm using my Baby Bliss flat iron. I've been using that for years. I don't like no other flat iron when it comes to silk presses. This, it just gets the job done. And I'm using a tracing comb as well. I got the comb, it was a gift, but you can get a tracing comb from any hair store, I believe. Or like Sally's maybe. But yeah, so I use that in my, my thick Baby Bliss flat iron and the hair is just gonna be bone straight, period. That lace is what is who is late let's get into it period and that's no shade i live for this install shout out to rv hair collection i will have all the information for their social medias and how to order their wigs in the bio this was a 30 inch wig and it just gave and shout out to me and gabby because our tiktok that we did for this hair went viral like we hit our first million views and then a couple days later we hit two million views so shout out to rv hair collection for sending us this wig shout out to boho for always coming through i love boho products i only use boho products so shout out to boho be sure to follow my model gabby on all of her social media platforms instagram and tiktok and y'all already know what it is with me. I need y'all to like, comment, share, subscribe. Tell your homie, cousin, sister, brother, friend. Do what y'all gotta do. But we're growing. We finally hit a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So everything is just litty on this end. Like, shout out to SBM Gang. Y'all are doing what needs to be done. Period.